It's time for your primetime forecast from Dr. Don's weather page in the Shepherd's Weather Center. Now, here's Dr. Don. It's time now for your primetime forecast for Thursday, December 10 on Dr. Don's weather page from the Shepherd's Weather Center. Don't forget to go over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for your Thursday, Zipola across Alabama and Georgia. No thunderstorm activity expected at all. Now, here is that uh, national map in motion, and we can see the beginning of what's headed our way this weekend. High pressure will continue to dominate the forecast on Thursday and Friday. And then on Saturday, a low pressure sy- uh, system with a trailing cold front will sweep across Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia. Right now, we don't anticipate any severe weather, but we'll watch out for a few strong thunderstorms, certainly possible. Goes east, southern Mississippi Valley satellite shot late on your Wednesday afternoon, just showing a few high-level clouds there across east Alabama, most of that now down south of I-85, and we're back to mostly clear skies. Total rainfall amounts expected over the next five days or so. Yeah, half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Uh, knocking on the door uh, of maybe one inch in some areas of northeast Alabama and north Georgia. That will primarily be on the Saturday, possibly Sunday system across uh, the southeastern United States. Here's your expected high temperatures for Thursday afternoon across the region. Roanoke, Wadley, and Widawi all will top out around 65. Woodland goes to 64, 66 over in Franklin. Ashland and Lineville both go to 64, 66 down in Auburn. Tallahassee at 67 and Pine Mountain tops out at 65 degrees on Thursday afternoon. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar showing no precipitation across the southeastern United States currently. Now let's take a look at the future cast radar. We start this at 6 p.m. on Friday afternoon, and you can see that front coming our way, crossing the Mississippi River there around 9 o'clock on Friday afternoon or Friday evening, and then uh, maybe knocking on the door of West Alabama by midnight on Friday night. And then that thing will sweep uh, sweep through Alabama and Georgia pretty much during the day on Saturday, maybe east Alabama, west Georgia, mid to late afternoon on Saturday afternoon. Current temperatures across the southeastern United States, Anniston is at 57 degrees, Birmingham 59, Clanton at 59 degrees, LaGrange at 58, also 58 in Wedowie. Columbus at 60 degrees, Macon 57, Atlanta at 56 degrees, Tuscaloosa currently is 63 degrees, hanging on to some heat over there, and the capital city of Montgomery at 61 degrees on your Wednesday afternoon. Your current conditions, 54 degrees, temperature is falling, we reach 61 this afternoon at 1.59 p.m., wind is currently out of the south-southwest at 1, gusting uh, to about 2 miles per hour, dew point 39.6. The uh, humidity is at 57%. Our forecast for tonight, mostly clear. Some patchy fog developing after around 2 a.m. Down to 36 degrees. Winds will be west at 5 miles per hour. Sunrise on your Thursday morning, 6.35 a.m. Sunsets at 4.35 p.m. So here's your six-day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for Thursday. A little fog in the a.m. That should burn off by 7, 8, 9 a.m. Then we go mostly sunny on Thursday. We'll reach for 65 in the afternoon. Be a nice day. 38, your overnight low on Thursday night. Friday, full-blown sunshine. Almost 70 degrees on Friday, and for that reason, we'll watch out for a few strong thunderstorms early, uh, well, maybe uh, early afternoon to mid-afternoon on Saturday, as our high temperature on Saturday will be 65 with a 40% chance of rain. We'll up that to a 50% chance on Saturday night. That front's going to kind of stall out across Alabama and Georgia, so we'll maintain a chance of rain on Sunday, even into Sunday night and maybe Monday morning. 51-year highs. You can definitely see the difference in the cold front there. 30-year overnight low Monday night, but right now I think all the moisture will be gone by the time we dip down to freezing, so there should not be any worries there with frozen precipitation. 
There was a lot of stir yesterday <laughs> on Facebook because of some information that one of our uh, Atlanta meteorologists put out there. And that that's still kind of hanging around a little bit, but uh, it's, it's an oddity right now. All the other models are saying uh, that it'll be completely dry on Monday night and Tuesday while the Euro is still holding on the possibility of a little precipitation. We'll see when we get a little bit closer. Right now, it doesn't look likely. On Tuesday, the 15th, mostly sunny with a high of 53 degrees. Here's that extended. We do have a wet, stormy period on the way, though. If this verifies, and if it's correct, the 16th through the 21st, we've got rain uh, on the 16th, on the 17th, afternoon showers, on the 18th, showers. Uh, I think on the 19th, maybe some heavy rain. And then we go back to uh, partly cloudy skies on Sunday the 20th and mostly cloudy on Monday the 21st as we get set for Christmas week. And I should be able to peek out there to Christmas Day uh, in the next couple of two or three days. So be looking, be looking for that. Don't forget to go over to drdonwx.com. That's our website. You can see all kinds of cool stuff there. We've got multiple pages with all kinds of weather information including the God's Country page where you can download the Mixler app and listen to God's Country anywhere in the whole wide world. Also, at the top of this video, you'll see a link that'll carry you over to Dr. Don's weather page on YouTube. Please go there and subscribe to Dr. Don's weather page and also click on that little bell so that when we go live for severe weather coverage, you will get notified via a push notification. Our partners include Joey Knight at Anchor Roofing, 706-326-2438. Judy Aubrey at Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts in downtown Roanoke, 334-863-2812. Neil Johnson, Superior Heating and Air Conditioning, 334-646-0331. Mr. Brandon Brown at BR Construction, 334-744-1507. Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. Becky Rainwater at Remax Lakefront, 256-610-1390. By Auction 431 South, Joey Knight at 256-252-8932. Made in the South, a division of Southeast Soft Wash, 334-863-0084. Mark Mitchell at Bama Diesel Repair in Woodland, 256-201-3685. Jimmy Stevens of Jimmy Stevens Construction, 256-610-1364. And Jamie Dukas, your Alpha Insurance Agent, 256-452-5131. Again, folks, don't forget to head over to paypal.me forward slash drdonwx. To support Dr. Don's weather page, we depend on you and our partners to support Dr. Don's weather page so that we can continue to bring you weather information and especially severe weather information during times of severe weather. Hey, good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll see you back in here tomorrow. We'll take a look at that Saturday and Sunday rain event and we'll peek out there into the future and see if uh, at least one of the models is still suggesting maybe a little white stuff on Monday evening, Monday afternoon. Doesn't look likely, but there is still a little hope out there. So for you snow lovers, be sure and check us out tomorrow for the latest information on Dr. Don's weather page.